a brief tract concerning dancing collected out of master dr peter martyr by master masonius dancing as plato saith is said to be of rejoicing for that it is a certain testimony of joy and gladness and servius interpreted that verse of virgil omnis quam chorus et sosic cominantur ovantes whom all the company of dancers and fellows followed rejoicing saith the same to be a singing and leaping of them that are of one age but from whence this should take it beginning there are diverse opinions some suppose that men beholding the motion of the fixed and wandering stars invented this thereby to represent that variety of the motion others think that it rather sprang first of religion because among the ancient ethnics no sacred things were well nigh done without dancing and they lead their dancers from the left to the right side of the altar to show the turning of heaven from the east to the west then return they from the right side to the left to signify the course of the movable and unmovable stars which thing peradventure virgil meant when he said instavrantque chorus mixtique altaria circum they begin to dance afresh one with another round about the altars also salage the priests of mars among the romans were had in great estimation and there be that refer the original hereof to hero siculus the tyrant who as they report to establish his tyranny forbade the people mutual communication by means whereof it came to pass that the men of sicilia began to express their minds and thoughts by becks and gestures of the body which afterwards grew to an use and custom but whether this be so or no dancers in the old time were not estranged from religion albeit afterwards they were applied to public and common rejoicing besides this there was another kind exercised by young men in martial affairs for as much as they were commanded to leap and make much gesture and signs of mirth in their hands to the end they might be readier and apter for battle when the cause of the commonwealth so required this manner of dancing was called parochia and because it was used in armour armed hereof mention is made in the civil laws that is to say in the digest of punishments f de poenis l ad damnum and sometimes young men when they trespassed were not forthwith adjudged to die but either to hunt in the theatre or to dance in their armour and they were called piricari another kind also there was which was appointed for pleasure only and lavishness called of the grecians here there is a lacuna in the text moreover of them that expressed by the gestures of their bodies the meaning of their minds writeth lucianus in his treaty of dancing and likewise athenius which came to that pass at length that demetrius sinicus in derision called this counterfeit dancing a vain thing and nothing worth whereupon a worthy dancer who then was had in honour at rome desired him that he would but one only time behold him and then that he would judge and report whatsoever pleased him he came to the theatre the counterfeit began by his gestures to express the common fable of mars and venus taken in adultery wherein in such sort he showed the sun disclosing vulcan knitting nets venus all ashamed and mars humbly entreating insomuch as demetrius astonished cried out i not only see o man the things thou doest but also hear them for by thy hands thou seemest to speak unto me at the same time as it happened there appeared to rome the kings of pontus who when he had seen this dancer play his gestures in the theatre afterwards willed to demand of nero the thing he chiefly wished to be bestowed upon him he asked the gesture whereat nero marvelling seeing he might have requested other things of much more value inquired the cause of his request he made answer because i have many nations under my subjection whom without an interpreter i cannot understand and eft sons it falleth out that interpreters declare not faithfully enough my words unto them nor again theirs unto me but this fellow by his gestures will declare all things most faithfully plato in his third book of laws maketh two manners of dancers the one warlike which above we named pyrrhachia and other peaceable which he termeth placible the unclean and filthy kind i omit to speak of because it is manifestly condemned by the laws the exercise in harness and that which was showed by signs may serve to some use in the commonwealth but to our purpose they pertain not wherefore of the peaceable and placible sort shall somewhat be said in this place how far forth it may be lawful when for rejoicing's sake it is used 
this kind of exercise seemeth to me of its own nature neither vicious nor to be prohibited for as much as agility and nimbleness of the body is the gift of god and if there be added some art that the body be moved with decency just pace and comeliness i see not why it ought to be reprehended so it be done in due season moderately and without offence for as it is lawful to sing and use singings to give thanks to god and celebrate his praises so likewise moderate dancing to testify our joy and gladness david doubtless danced openly before the ark the maidens renowned his victory over goliath with dancing and singing miriam moses's sister when pharaoh was laid along and slain danced with other women and sang a song of triumph and victory wherefore since holy men and chaste women have used dances we cannot say they are faulty of their own nature but as they are nowadays done that men should dance together with women they be intolerable for that they are the nutriments and provocations of lasciviousness and voluptuous pleasures miriam moses's sister traced not with young men but apart with women neither david with women nor the maidens who honoured his conquest with young men but by themselves now they that with all their mind and might love god it is not enough for them to observe his commandments unless they cut off also all occasions whereby their observations may be impaired but our dancers are most evident occasions of transgressing the divine law snares they are and stumbling-blocks not to the doers alone but to the beholders also for they stir and inflame the heart of men wicked enough otherwise from their very beginning and what with much ado and industry is to be repressed that the flickering enticements of these light leapings raise and stir up verily if a man would take counsel either of himself or of experience or of reason he shall find the lustre of the mind not a little to be kindled and set on fire by these sights and he shall perceive men with wave of their goodness and women with eclipse of their chastity return home furthermore perils are rather to be taken heed of than nourished for as solomon saith who loveth peril shall fall thereunto but some man will object that dancings insomuch in damaged manners and kindle lust cometh to pass by rashness and by antecedary means and judgment ought not of everything to be given according to those which come by chance but according to these things that are here in themselves some are found so chaste and pure that they can with a chaste and pure mind see these sights i grant it may sometimes so fall out but take this with you all accidents not to be of the same condition some there are which very seldom happen some either way which of their nature may be as well present at anything as absent and some which for the most part are wont to fall out these last in each thing ought to be most diligently considered and regarded neither must we respect what may but what was wont to be done aristippus danced in purple and thereof accused excused himself that thereby he waxed never the worse and that he could even in the niceness and delicacy retain a philosopher's mind but such sayings are not to be hearkened unto because as demosthenes saith and is cited of the lawyers we must not consider what a man doth now and then but what is accustomed to be done for the most part imagine a man to be so chaste that he may not be moved with these allurements yet in the meanwhile how are the people provided for and the multitude seen unto for the integrity and uprightness of some one or other shall we suffer all the rest to remain in danger but so will some man mutter take away sermons and sacraments for many hear sometime the word of god to their own condemnation and to their own condemnation may eat and drink the holy mysteries here is it necessary to be known that some things make for men's salvation and are commanded by the word of god which by no means ought to be taken away some things again are indifferent which if we see them tend to hurt are not tolerable concerning sermons and sacraments we have the law of god that we should hear and receive them touching dancing there is nothing commanded wherefore these are not to be compared together but by this means say diverse are many honest marriages made it may be so otherwhile notwithstanding for my part it could never sink into mine head that i would wish matrimonies to be by these means contracted wherein the nimbleness only and beauty of the body are respected there are other means far honester let us use them and as for these scarce honest and chaste let us leave them weigh we with ourselves that although sometime honest marriages be gotten by dancing yet a great deal oftener adultery and whoredom are wont to ensue of these sights we should follow the footings of our godly fathers who now and then use dancing yet chaste and moderate the men by themselves and the women by their selves by these dances testified they the mirth of their minds 
sang they praises to god gave they thanks unto him for some singular benefit received at his hands and as for the confused dances of men and women together we read them not in the holy scripture but our men will say who would dance after this sort these things while they utter they bury themselves what they seek for in this pastime hither flock the effects of dancing recorded in matthew how the daughter of herodias skipped in the king's feast the king took pleasure in her whom without shame he could not openly gaze upon for it was a most evident token of the forbidden marriage and whoredom for herod had taken unto him the wife of his brother and mother of this damsel of that dance it followed that john was beheaded many are misgrieved with us that we cry out upon dances as upon things evil of their nature and prohibited we again make answer that things ought not always to be measured by their nature but by the disposition and abuse of our flesh wine we cannot deny of itself is good yet is it not administered to the sick of the fever not in that it is evil yet is it not administered to the sick of the fever not in that it is evil but in that it agreeeth not with the body so affected in exodus when the people made to themselves a golden calf which they might worship they sat down they ate and drank and they rose up to play in which place to play seemeth to be nothing else than to dance but that i may not seem singular and alone in these my sayings and censure i will annex certain testimonies of the forefathers augustine in the sixth chapter of his book against patillion saith bishops were evermore wont to punish vain and lascivious dancers but nowadays there be many bishops not only present at the dances but dancers themselves with women so far are they from correcting this vice the same augustine while he expoundeth those words of the thirty-second psalm upon an instrument of ten strings i will sing unto thee those ten strings he maketh the ten commandments and when he had said somewhat upon every one of them at the last he cometh to the sabbath of which it is written remember that thou keep holy the sabbath day i say not saith he that thou shouldst be so drowned in delicacy as the jews are accustomed for better it is all day long to dig than to dance on the sabbath chrysostom in the fifty-sixth homily upon genesis entreating of jacob's marriage marriage quoth he have ye heard but no dancing which there he calleth diabolical and many more matters hath he in the same place which make for us and among all the rest he writeth how by dancing the bride and bridegroom are corrupted and the whole family defiled again in his forty-eighth homily thou seest saith he marriages but dances thou seest not for at that time they were nothing so wanton as they are in these days diverse other things hath he in the fourteenth of matthew where reciting herodias dancing to the people among the rest he saith nowadays christians deliver not half their kingdom nor another man's head but their own soul into destruction and he addeth where this lascivious dancing is set up there danceth the devil together with them in the council of laodicea we find written that it is not convenient for christian men to dance at marriages let them dine and sup discreetly and moderately giving god thanks for the benefit of matrimony in the selfsame council it is also written let not clerks approach the theatre or matiages to gape after pageants they may be at marriages but after the singers and harpers be come in who serve for dancers arise they and depart lest by their presence they may seem to allow and approve that wantonness in the council of illidan holden under simarchus and Hormista, popes and king theodoric the same is decreed that christians should not dance at weddings in the council of aristoran which was under pope deus deat this seemeth to be restrained to clerks for there is there a proviso that no clerks might in the feast either sing or dance as if to others it were after a sort lawful of the same opinion are the schoolmen of the divines in the third sentences distinction thirty seven who refer these restraints unto the holy days richard of the middle village accounteth it a most grievous sin to dance on the holy days as though on other days it might be permitted but far weightier is the judgment of the fathers and sound counsels than these men's who hurtfully set at large those things which are to be kept in seeing they have with them the hazard of souls and not the hazard only but the slidings and falls most grievously to be lamented and yet these men seem to borrow this their sentence whereby they deny dancing on the holiest days of the civil laws in the code forsooth in the title of holy days and law holy days see tit deferius l dies festus we let at liberty vacation on the holy days but we will that men be restrained from inordinate delectations and therefore it shall not be lawful on the holy days to use dancings whether they be sensual or prepared for sensuality 
Aemilius Probus, in the life of Epaminondas, saith that singing and dancing among the Romans were smallly regarded, when among the Grecians they were had in great estimation. Salust, in his Catalinaria, weigheth that Sempronia, a certain lewd and lascivious woman, was trimlier trained up in singing and dancing than beseemed an honest matron, and in the same place he calleth these two instruments of excess in carnal pleasure. Cicero, in the third book of his offices, is of this mind that an honest and virtuous man will not dance in the common concourse of people, though he might thereby become the greatest heir in the world and in his oration which he made after his return to the senate he termed in reproach aulus gabinus his adversary o tricksy dancer it was laid in lutius morena his dish as a fault that he danced in asia with the same also was king deotarus hit in the teeth cicero for morena answers that no sober person danceth either in solitariness either in an honest and moderate banquet except he be out of his wits the same Cicero, in his Philip, among other vices, upbraided Antonius with dancing. It appeareth furthermore that the men of the East and West were not of like disposition, they being of a merry mind and nimble bodies, so much the more delight in dancing. For, to let others pass, David danced in open sight. And they which now travel to us out of Syria testify the Christians which inhabit those regions, upon the day of the Lord's resurrection, and likewise upon other famous festivals, come to the church with harps and harmony, singing psalms and dancing together. For those spirits of the people are quick and quiver, where the spirits of our countrymen are heavy and lumpish, yet for all that they report that they dance discreetly and modestly, the men and women one from another. If you enjoyed this recording, please support our channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. We would also be happy to receive any comments or feedback below.